So what we're going to do first is the gas valve here. We're going to hook up the manometer. Come on over. This screw right there, that's for your gas pressure coming in. So that's like the gas pressure from the meter that's in front of the house right out of the street and then there's another screw back here that's for your manifold pressure here that's the pressure the gas is going to shoot in and that's what it's going to burn off of so i want to take that pressure when we start up so it's a little allen key all you got to do is back it up and loosen it you don't got to take it completely out like that there and i'm going to take this tube here and I'm going to stick it right over the top of that screw. So it's like this right here. You see that? The tube fits right over the top of that. So all you got to do is loosen up that Allen key nut, slip that over, put that on the manometer. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. All right, the manometer's all hooked up, all right? I got my temperature probes in here. I got one on the return and one over here on the supply. All right, and we're gonna take the temperature difference in between the two. Now, what we're looking for inside here, there's a sticker and it tells you the temperature rise. Is there like a range in there? And it says uh, for natural gas, 35 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we're looking for on the temperature difference between those two probes. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. So it's calling for heat, right? Yeah. Turn the power on. And the inducer fan is running. That's the first thing after the thermostat calls for heat. The pressure switch is going to check for that pressure to make sure this fan is running. Then we should see our hot surface igniter start to glow. There it goes. See it right there. And then the gas valve will open and we'll get a flame. There we go. So now we're going to look at our gas pressure here. We're getting 3.6, almost 3.7. Now on here, the same plate inside there, it'll tell you what gas pressure they want it to run at, and it usually says about 3.5 pounds, uh, inches of water column. Right, but we're going to go by the temperature instead because sometimes sometimes your temperature rise is too high if it's like over 65 degrees between those two we got to back off on the gas pressure so even though it says 3.5 in there if we got to go down to like three we'll do that yeah that's your delta t so i'm going to turn my app on here Got our temperature difference. So 65 is the max. So if it goes over that, I got to back up on the gas a little bit. It's that little gold screw there. This little gold screw right there. And you take, yeah, you take that off and you take it completely off. And there's another screw inside of there that you got to twist with a flathead. But we'll see where it is. Temperature was uh, 67, it was still slowly climbing. So I took that little gold cover off, right? Now I'm going to start backing off on the gas a little bit. Stick your screwdriver in there. And I'm going to keep an eye. Can you hold that up a little bit for me? Cover to it. Alright, so we got 365, right? Let's start backing off on it. Yeah. 
about those. All right, so the 3.3 brought us down below the 65, so we're good there. All right, our delta T is good. Our gas pressure is good. That's pretty much it. I mean, everything's kind of tuned in, and we're good to go.